Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. This layout is for day 18 of Scraptember, and the prompt for today was multi-photo. And I ended up getting nine photos on this two-page layout. The photos are the, um, the during the process and after the process of cleaning out and reorganizing my scrapbook room. I took on this project between March and May of 2023. And so the photos on the left are during and the photos on the right are after it was all done and all organized and all clean. Um, it is not that well organized and clean anymore. I've been using it a lot lately and it really could use, um, I should take an afternoon and a couple hours and straighten things and put things away and that sort of thing. But this, um, what I have set up now has served me well for this past year and a few months. So it was a very worthwhile project. <clears throat> so basically the photos on the left are the during. Um, it was a huge project. My scrapbook room is half of our basement, the living finished area of our basement. Um, so it's really a multi-purpose room. There's a piano in there. There's a day bed in there that has a pull-out trundle that serves as a guest area. Um, there's an antique dresser with a television on it. And then there's my scrapbook room. So basically, I emptied my half of the room, except I didn't move my 9-foot maple table or my um, blueprint drawers, which you see there on the left. Everything else got moved, cleaned, and revamped. So everything is matted with these um, cards. There were three by four cards and four by six cards from Stampin' Up. I bought them on a clearance sale about a year ago. I do not know what those were called. I just like the colors. And they went well with these. Um, the swirly green sheets are really old paper from K and Company. I would guess they're probably a good 20 years old. I just trimmed them down a bit and matted them on some um, like crumb cake colored cardstock. So now I'm thinking about some embellishments. There was a sticker in the Stampin' Up! pack that says, Make Your Dreams Happen. And I decided to use that as my title, even though it's small. I built the cluster up a bit and I think it serves okay as a title. And it fits what I was trying to go for here. Um, my room is not fancy. I, I don't have fancy flooring or amazing lighting, um, but it serves me well. There's lots of space. During the day, I have good natural light. We got new blinds for the windows there, which I love. And so this is a great space for me. And I just built it up with some banner pieces behind it. And I'll also add a camera there in a moment. So here I was cutting a banner in half to stretch it behind there. And um, let's see, what else am I doing? I guess I need another one up there. Oh, yep, that is what I'm doing. Tucking one more. <laughs> so I am at a crop and at the fr um, on the sale table, I found a close to my heart set with about six different camera images on it. And I am really excited about those. I love having cameras on my scrapbook layouts. Um, it's a nice image for when you're not, when, when you don't have like a themed image to go on your um, layout. And so I decided this would be a great time, here's the stamp set, to just use it right away. So I pulled three different cameras off, one really old fashioned, and then some that are more like the ones that I had um, when I was a teenager and in my 20s, even my 30s probably. And so I decide to go with those to use them in my embellishment clusters. And I wasn't sure what color ink to use. 
So I pulled out um, Vintage Photo, Walnut Stain, and I think that's, uh, that's a gray one. I, I'm not sure what color it is. But I stamped all three. I really liked the gray, but it doesn't go with these papers, so I didn't use that. Um, I ended up going with Vintage Photo because the Walnut Stain seemed too dark and maybe too red. I don't know. Oh, here I end up not using the gray Distress Ink at all. That's um, VersaFine Mist or VersaFine Claire Morning Mist. And I do like it, but it just didn't work for this. So I stamp out a bunch of the cameras in Vintage Photo. I think I end up stamping about three of each. Then I just trimmed them out with scissors by hand. It really didn't take long at all. They were easy images to cut and I just left a little border around everything. And um, I stamped these on some vanilla cardstock. And I lost a little bit of footage there, but here you can see that I've added the cameras. Now I'm doing a little bit of journaling. It just says I completely emptied my scrap room and started over reorganizing and cleaning as I went. It's not fancy, but I am thrilled with the final results. And so I added two cameras there. And above my journaling is some wood um, veneer. There's a picture frame there. Below the journaling and below that photo is a wood piece that says happy days are here. And another one that says smile. And you'll see that better in the close-ups, which are coming in just a second. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope you get to craft something soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.